Hi, beautiful. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. So before I start talking too much in today's video, um, I wanted to do an acrylic video so I could show y'all how I use my small beads because I know a lot of people have problems, especially like trying to do the one bead or the two bead method. And so, because I was, and so I started using smaller beads and I stopped having as much problems when I stopped worrying, when I stopped trying to do it like the other nail techs. So I figured I would show y'all how it works for me. So that way maybe it would help y'all because um, I, I really wanted to learn how to do acrylic and uh yeah so and first of all i want you to say okay so this brush i got it from young nails um it was a little expensive but it was worth it i think it was like i think it was like 45 dollars. i might be wrong i will put it in the description box but um it was worth it for me because like i said i was having a lot of trouble I would get so aggravated because I just, I couldn't get it. Like, it would always turn into a bumpy, ugly mess. And yeah, I could have filed it to make it look pretty, but I didn't, I, I don't like, I don't want to, I, first of all, I didn't have a, any, like, really good drill bits to where, you know, the filing would be hell. So, anyway, um... So since I started working with these small beads and, um, you know, I could use four or five beads on one nail and, um, you know, as long as they're small beads and, you know, you blend them, the nail still comes out looking like a nail. And that's what the end result is supposed to be anyway, right? Whether you use one bead or 17 beads, as long as your nail is a functional nail you know then that's what you want so um i wanted to show y'all how i did it um i'm not saying that my way is right i am in no way a professional or saying that i know how what i'm doing because i don't i just wanted to show you guys what works for me so if somebody out there um, is having trouble and it could help somebody then great so uh, that's what I'm doing so um, I got this um, green um, it's from not polish it's a pretty booger color <laughs> no um, it is called neon ninjas It's G15 from um, not polish and I'm using my not polish monomer as well and, uh, so I dip my brush in the liquid and, um, I kind of, when I'm tapping the liquid out of my brush, um, I tap it halfway down to the tip. I don't know if that makes sense. I should have showed y'all. I'll show you guys in another video how I do it just in case. Um, and if you have any questions, you could ask me below in the comments, um, but that that um method works for me and and those uh beads so um and that brush i don't know um i do have a couple of other brushes that i use but um they don't work as well for me as this one does so um yeah but um i'll like i said i'll link everything below um so that way Y'all could uh, check it out if you want to. If not, totally fine. Um, but I'm going to do all five fingers. Well, this hand has four fingers. I'm going to do all four fingers. And uh, this Neon Ninjas, it, 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 it is a glow uh, powder. So uh, it glows. Now, uh, let me tell y'all. Okay, so this set I, I was supposed to have out... Um, in the middle of October but my son was in the hospital so I never got to get it out so that's why I'm putting it out here this is why this Halloween set is coming late and it's for the spotlight challenge and um, we had six 
weeks of challenges and I only did five and I still felt like um I owed it to the group because everybody did their six and uh every week we spotlighted different people and that week that I was in the hospital I didn't get to spotlight Lisa so at the end of our um collab I still felt like I owed her a spotlight so that's why I am still posting this I know it's not Halloween anymore so this week is good this week was um supposed to be goosebumps well it's not supposed to be it is goosebumps and um the book goosebumps or I guess it could be the movies too um I never really watched the movies but I was a big goosebumps book nerd when I was in school well probably still am um I probably would I would probably still not probably I would most definitely still read these books and I was actually thinking about uh getting my uh seven year old or she's about to be seven uh I was gonna start get, ordering her books so she can have the collection and I'm gonna um secretly read them but um, I am a big Oral Stein fan. I love his books. I love Goosebumps. They are a work of art. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing else I can say. I'm sure everybody um, growing up read Goosebumps, or at least I hope everyone did. I mean, if you didn't, you definitely should. I don't care how old you are. Those are some awesome books. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to let, uh, well, this is almost finished. I will uh, let y'all watch for a few minutes and I'm going to come back and talk about Lisa. Okay, so the first thing that has to be mentioned about Lisa is that <clears throat> excuse me she is the most kind loving charismatic funny she's just an awesome individual she's a mom and she's a damn good mom and she is a good friend she is not just a good friend she is an awesome friend she is the best friend I have known this girl for like what eight weeks and she literally made me feel like I knew her forever the first week I met her and like me and her have gotten so close and I love talking to her I enjoy talking to her she's always checking on me um and she's just an awesome person and I'm just so glad that I get to watch her move up because I'm te I'm mark my words that when she when somebody discovers her like she's gonna be famous and I want to be able to say I know her you know and she's just awesome and she's Dana August Nails on Instagram and Facebook and you should definitely definitely Go check her out. She's so funny. She's always telling stories about what her nails or what she would be doing in her nails on, you know, when she's doing her na her voiceover. She's so, I love listening to her talk. And y'all, she lives on an island and it just, I, I want to pack up and go there and never come back here. And I mean, I really wouldn't. I love my life, but she's just she's so awesome and she's one of those people that you just always want to be around I, I know I know that's how she is I don't know her know her but I know that people gravitate towards her she's one of those type of people that people just naturally gravi gravitate toward her she's like you know the sun you know people just or is it the moon yeah the moon is it the moon that pulls you know what I'm talking about she's one of those people and um i'm just so lucky to have met her and all these ladies um so definitely go check her out i'm gonna put it in my description description box and uh yeah i'm gonna stop stumbling over my words because i'm gonna start getting sappy and we don't need all that
right guys so i am top loading now so i guess it's time to say bye um until next year this is my last halloween set <clears throat> way way late but still um thank you guys again for all the love and support that you've shown all of us for this challenge um and thank you ladies for supporting me and just being there for me i have been it has been such a pleasure doing this with you guys so i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys